How are you controlled by the hive mind by Nelia Benz? During February 2019, I sent the following email to my students at whatcouldmenow.com. I send a different exercise each week as part of the bonuses of being part of the empowerment platform. This particular email is packed full of information which I want you to explore too. And if you feel as strongly as I do about it, I would ask you to share with your social networks and send to your mailing lists. Here is the link you can share. How are you controlled by the hive mind? And here is the email. I would like you to explore a topic with me. You can contemplate it, research it, think about it, and also bring in your inner guidance wisdom to explore it. A few thousand years ago, maybe not so few, our human collective on this planet decided we would have a light-dark existence. This experience is also known as the age of separation. Part of the conditions to be able to achieve this light-dark experience was to have the illusion of separation. An illusion that says that every person, every tree, every fish, every animal, every strand of grass is separate from all the rest, separate from everything. It also says that we, as humans, are the only intelligence on the planet, the only sentient beings too. It also meant that we stopped hearing others, not just other people, but also other animals, plants, birds, rocks, water, wind. We also started to believe that each one of us humans was alone, alone among a crowd, alone in our thoughts, feelings, emotions, perceptions, wishes and desires. Yet, go at any beach and you'll see clusters of humans. Cities are clusters of humans. We created roads to be able to quickly and effortlessly travel to other people. Yes, stores are run by people too. We invented cell phones that keep us connected not just with friends, co-workers and relatives, but also large networks of people we have never met in person. We cluster, we connect, we depend on others for every single item in our lives. Want some water? Open the tap and water comes out, due to thousands of people working to make it happen. Reading this article? Thousands of people worked to make it happen, from the font on your screen to the screen to where you brought the device you have it with you. It goes on and on. All our technologies are about reconnection. There are also technologies of separation, destruction of others, domination and power over others. But how many of those do you have in your household? Maybe if you are in the military, you may have a few items that are designed and built to destroy other bodies en masse. But if you are not, it is unlikely that you do or are near devices of mass destruction. There are a few aspects of our true group nature that, if resolved, we can more easily express and co-create a physical reality that is not only supportive of us, but reflects our true nature. We are a collective species. Number one is the corrupted group dynamic. We have seen this happen from religions, sports teams, technology, designer labels, education, gangs, cults, the list is long. These flourish and grow because of the innate need of a person to belong to a group. Number two is the I, me and myself. Exclusivity and separation of experience. The I in the equation removes the shared experience of red flags and group actions that are not supportive of its members. And number three, you have to accept family no matter what they do. We are taught that love equals liking other people. 
The fact is, we can love someone very much, but dislike them to the degree that we prefer not to spend any time with them. To love and to like are separate emotions. We might think, I like everyone I love, but that's why I love them. This is because often we confuse the person to what the person does or behaves like. For example, the child of the abusive parents loves his or her parents, but he does not like what the parent does. Often, this develops into a dislike of the person, but the love does not go away. Again, the list could go on and on. The point in the three examples above is that none would be possible if there was complete transparency and connection between the members of the group. For example, you would not join a corrupted group or gang with hierarchy and exclusivity without an I, me, myself and a strong need for family no matter what they do. Quite obviously, the gang represents family no matter what and protection of I, me, myself. You would join a group that is not corrupted, one that ultimately grows connections without low-frequency coercions. Divide and conquer, or divide et impera, is a well-known strategy to rule the masses. Our reluctance to resist to belonging to a group is not without reason. Groups tend to follow the corruption programs that have been embedded into the human collective for thousands of years. We are also taught from a young age that groupthink is very dangerous, yet unless we join in consciousness, we cannot be fully who we are as individuals, part of a larger collective consciousness. Another fact is that people from around the world are now coming together in joint meditations, in tents, and to work with a base of high-frequency results. We now know how to do this. We just have to break through our self-imposed limitations to achieve it. The illusion of the individual is the brick and mortar of the hive mind the illusion of the individual is the brick and mortar of the hive mind, a group ruled by a dominating mind. A healthy group or collective is the opposite. No single mind can rule the rest as all are completely transparent. The biggest strength of the promoters of low frequency reality is in being able to hide what they do. When it is made visible and public, suddenly, their power is gone. It seems strange, but the extreme focus on the individual that our society promotes is exactly how we are ruled with a hive mentality. Remove the disconnection and the individual grows, his or her awareness expands and can then become part of a supportive collective, inclusive of his or her individual self. Have you seen those flocks of birds that look like clouds moving in perfect synchronicity? Those birds don't always live like that. But when they come together, magic happens. For a high-frequency group to exist, it needs connected individuals. It is like a dance. It is to be seen, to see, to be admired, to admire, to be supported, to support, to be nourished, to nourish, to be inspired, to inspire, to be energized, to energize. I look forward to hearing your insights, thoughts, and conclusions to this topic. And if you like this video, remember to subscribe and click the notification button.